We're going to start out with something called torta di riso, which translates to a rice cake. Very popular in Tuscany and something that I had when I was working with a chef at Gardo Sandoli who taught me how to make this. And you have to start with arborio rice. And so here in a pot, I have about one and a half cups of arborio rice, the same type of rice that's used to make risotto, cooking with three quarters of a cup of sugar and four cups of milk. And you want to cook this until the rice absorbs all the milk. So it's nice and thick like this. And now I'm going to transfer this to a bowl because this needs to cool before I add all the other ingredients. And don't try to do this without using arborio rice because any other rice is just not going to work. And you see how sticky and how starchy this is because arborio is a very starchy rice. And if you're not familiar with arborio rice, it looks like this. This is it, a short grain rice, you see. Very starchy. And so it can absorb an awful lot of liquid. So that's why we had the four cups of milk with the rice. So you need about a half a cup of raisins, soaking in some orange liqueur, or you could use some other kind of uh, liqueur brandy. You could use rum. And you want to put that in with the liquid. So all of that goes in. And then you want the zest of either oranges or lemons, two tablespoons. So today we're using lemon. And some candied orange peel. Here again, you could use orange peel, you could use lemon peel, you could use citron. About a half a cup goes in, and that you can find in the grocery store. You can find it in an Italian specialty store. And then you want a half a cup of nuts, and here we have almonds. So a half a cup of that goes in. About a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you notice there's no flour in this. A teaspoon of cinnamon. This is so easy to do once you have the rice cooked. And you mix this all up. So now we have a half a cup of heavy cream, or you could use sour cream. You could also use mascarpone and mix that all in. So two eggs go in, and then this is all there is to this, and then we have to bake this. And we have to bake it in something called a bagno maria in Italian, which means a water bath, because we want even heat on this. So that looks beautiful, and now I'm going to get the mold, which I have in the refrigerator. There is my mold, that's a nine by two incher. And now, we want to put this rice mixture in. So carefully, neatly, go all the way around the mold. You want to press this in evenly now. And your oven is on at 350 degrees. And you have heated up some water. Do you want to put the water in a pan large enough to take the ring mold, the size of the ring mold that you're using. OK, now you press it in there neatly, packing it down so it's even everywhere. OK, so now we want to put this in the bagno maria. And that's right here. So you want some warm to hot water, and you stick the mold right in. You want to make sure that the water comes up oh, to about an inch on the side of the mold. And now this is going into the oven. And we're going to cook this for about 35 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees, or until a cake skewer, when put into the center of that, comes out clean. And that's all there is to making the torta di riso. Sounds good, doesn't it?